a new Bay Rum Shave Soap coming up next. Hi, YouTubers and what shavers everywhere. It's Mark with GeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another video. This morning, we're going to have a shave with a brand new shaving soap, Luxury Bay Rum Shave Soap from Global Shave Clubs International and Sheldon Quinn. This arrived in the mail yesterday, and I have to admit, when I opened up the envelope, it had just, I mean, the room filled with this just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful scent. Oh, it's absolutely wonderful. There it is right there. And, uh... I'll give you a look at the ingredients on the back label there. And the ingredients are coconut oil, tallow, shea butter, castor oil, steric acid, glycerin, menthol, and fragrance. Now, I don't detect a lot of menthol in this at all. Very, very little. I guess that's why it's listed last because it's the least of the ingredients. But there probably is a little bit there, so I'm interested in and uh, seeing if it blooms a little more or if it uh, reacts a little more on the skin, that sort of thing. But I'm really looking forward to doing this shave. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to wet this puck just a little bit here. And I'm going to place it in the bottom of my Vikings Blade Grand Chairman Shaving Bowl right there. Just going to put that in there like that. Set that in there like that. And I'm going to put a little hot water on top of it and let it soak up a little bit. Okay, I got some hot water on there. And we're gonna use um, Vikings Blade Fire Mare Synthetic Shaving Brush this morning to whip up the lather. Really looking forward to this. Uh, love this shaving brush. It does a great job of, of generating a lot of lather. And I just like the softness and the overall feel, weight, design. Like it a lot. So we're gonna just gonna let that soak there in warm water. My razor of choice this morning is going to be the Steam Razor from Global Shave Clubs International. It's a three-piece razor patterned after the Gillette Fat Boy handle, uh, although it is larger, heavier, but it has that same look. And I love the knurling uh, on this really, really tight knurling so that you can get a really, really nice grip. So it is a three-piece razor. So there it is right there. And we're going to use a... Gillette Wilkinson Sword Razor Blade this morning. These are the Wilkinson Sword Blades out of India, not Germany. And these are terrific. A lot of wet shavers love these blades. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, load that blade right now. There it is, okay? And let me just get that right there like that. And there's my blade. my handle okay all right blade alignment blade balance spot on really looking forward to this wow uh, we're going to finish it off with a shash allen block and some uh, clubman virgin isle bay rum aftershave haven't used this in a while it's an old favorite that's why i'm using it and for upstairs, some Everyman Jack face lotion. This is neutral, there's no scent there, so uh, that won't uh, get in the way of the Bay Rum scents from the soap or the aftershave at all. So that's great. So let's go ahead, and uh, this is soaked long enough. Let's go ahead and dump that off, that water off there. I'm gonna use that bloom water, and I'm gonna wet the face, and we're gonna start to shave. Okay, all right, here's my brush, and boy, that scent is just filling the room right now. That is marvelous. Okay, so I'm just loading this brush here a little bit, and just getting that to the point where it's gonna start creaming up on the sides of the bowl. That's when I know that I've got a good enough brush load, and that it'll start generating a good lather for me from a face lather. But look, look how much I've, almost there. And uh, the soaps I've used from Global Shave Clubs International in the past have just been absolutely wonderful. So I'm expecting great performance, good slickness, nice cushion from this one. It's just, these are really, really nice, nice shave soaps. Okay, so starting to get a little bit of a peak there. 
And the shaving bowl is really a nice size to drop a shaving puck in. Okay, that's, that's got it right there. Nice little peek there. All right, here we go. Boom, lather. I mean, it's, it's wonderful. And, and I do detect the menthol there uh, and the bay rum. A little slightly different than some other bay rums I've used, but it is definitely a nice scent. Nice mixture of fragrances in there. You get a little bit of the bay rum. Well, you get a lot of the bay rum, but you get a little bit of the menthol there. And right now there is uh, a little bit of cooling effect from it, which is another bonus that I don't have with other bay rum aftershaves or soaps. Okay, wow, look at that. That's a nice carpet of lather there. Wow, I got plenty on the brush. Love this brush, love it. All right, let me rinse my hands off here. I got a little hands howl. Dry my hands off here. All right, let's heat this razor up. All right, and we're gonna swirl in the sink here, sink water to bring it to the proper temperature, so it's not too cold, not too hot. All right, here we go, 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Ah, that's nice. I think this is gonna be a two-pass shave. That is really nice and efficient. Very nice. No tugging, no pulling, a lot of audio feedback, that's for sure. All right, first pass done, let's rinse. Nice first pass. Really nice. Nice first pass on par with a lot of other first passes. And look. Lather again, that's really nice. I think a lot of that is just due to the fact that I'm using a synthetic brush. And I love these. I love the Vikings Blade synthetic brushes. They're very, very good. And this Flare Mirror has just been a great, great performer. <laughs> I like the I like, the, I like the synthetic brushes so much, I tend to over lather when I do these videos. I'm sorry, but uh, it is such, it's such a great feeling. It really is. Set that aside. Gonna wipe the hands off a little bit here. All right. 
Okay, here we go. Pass number two. We're going to go east to west across the grain. And I start a little higher there because I'm doing a head shave. So I want to get rid of all this sideburn here. I did a head shave last night. So I just want to clean this up here. Not have any stubble there. And again, when I shave, I don't use an opposing hand like this to stretch my skin. I don't do that. I just use my facial muscles and just uh, stretch my skin that much. That's a, that seems to be enough for me. Your mileage may vary. You want to try it both ways to see uh, if one or the other gives you a better result. Well, I got the chin area very, very nicely. All right, that's the second pass done. Let's rinse. <laughs> I'm done. That's terrific. That's a really nice shave. That's a nice, close, efficient shave. Very comfortable. Wonderful fragrance there is the menthol really does come through not doesn't hit you over the head but it does come through um it kind of mixes in with the bay rum and as i say it has a little bit of a cooling effect but it's nice it's very very nice all right here i'm gonna do my two five ounces one warm one cold all right that was my warm water rinse and there wasn't a lot of residual slipness, to be honest with you. It came right off, which was nice. Uh, that was my warm water rinse. Here's my cold water rinse. And I did an extra splash on the face uh, for good measure. But for the most part, just a couple of splashes warm and a Three splashes cold. Clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. Yeah. That's a nice shave. <laughs> That's a really nice shave. Wow. Nice and close. Um, really a neat scent it's got that it's 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 got the bay rum but it's got again it's got that little bit of menthol in there that kind of there's an interplay there it's not a lot but there is a little bit of interplay there and there is a cooling effect right now uh from the shea soap uh there is a little bit of cooling effect much like i get from parasso green but not a lot but there is something there, which is nice. That's nice. It's a nice after effect. I like that a lot. All right, here's my shash block. We'll see what kind of feedback we get here. Yeah, it's smooth. We've got a couple of zings here and there.
couple of small zings, nothing really overwhelming, anything like that. But it's a nice shave, a really nice close shave. And again, the, um, the cooling effect from uh, that little bit of menthol in the Bay Rum Shave Soap, really nice. Uh, Shash block goes there. Let that air dry overnight. Here's my brush. I'm going to do this in real time for you. Show you how it cleans off. Should have shown you that there was enough for, I've got some water in there, but I should have shown you there was enough for a third pass. But anyhow, I'm just going to rinse this out here real quickly and show you how quickly it is that these brushes clean up, these synthetic brushes. So all I'm doing is I'm just rinsing it under water and I'm just gently wringing it like that. Just gently wringing it like that to get that soap out of there. And I'm also brushing it in my hand so that it comes clean. Just to get the soap out, just very gently wringing and just gently pulling the soap out and then running it across the palm of my hand like this, just to get that excess soap out. And um, that should have it. And I'm going to give it a, a few vigorous shakes like that, several visitors. And look, <laughs> look, I mean, it's... It's almost completely dry. Isn't that great? That's fantastic. There it is. Fantastic. Love this brush. Absolutely love this brush. I mean, look, it's very nearly dry. I would say 90% dry right now. It's fantastic. And um, I have a razor stand right here. My Vikings Blade Admiral razor stand. And we'll go there like that. And we'll set that aside. All right, Clubman. Ah, Clubman Virgin Isle Bay Rum. Love this scent. This is a, this is a good one. I like this one. Very affordable. I like it. It's nice, but there is a bit of a difference between the two. Uh, this. Shave soap has a more luxurious high end bay rum scent to it, whereas uh, this one, well, yeah, uh, not so much, but it's nice. Okay, all right, here we go with uh, Everyman Jack. Get a little bit of that for upstairs, a uh, little more, and then we're gonna do the whole dome. Great shave. That was really, really nice. Uh, the Bay Rum Luxury Scent, the Bay Rum Luxury Shave Soap. This did a really, really nice job. Uh, nice lather, nice glide. Uh, boy, uh, uh, the uh, definitely the coconut oil, the tallow, and the shea butter really gave me a lot of moisture and a lot of hydration in the skin. Gave me with a really, really nice, gave me a really nice smooth result. Two passes and my shave was done. And it is a really nice result. And what else is nice is, is that razor, the, uh, the steam razor with the Gillette Wilkinson sword blade uh, got, gave me a nice shave on my chin while I was doing the video. Sometimes I skip over that. I'm talking and I don't stretch it as taut and that sort of thing. But uh, the sharpness of the blade and the efficiency of the razor made sure that that, uh, that was well shaved. And it really was. It was a really nice shave. Um, there is a little bit of menthol in here, as I say. It has a little bit of a cooling effect post-shave, right after you get that splash of water on your face. That's really nice. The Bay Rum scent is, it's a nice Bay Rum scent, but there is that little bit of menthol in there. So that might throw you off a little bit. But it is a terrific, terrific Bay Rum scent. You know, I've got uh, Captain's Choice Bay Rum right here. And yeah, th this, is, this, is a, this is a Bay Rum scent. But this one, 
This is bay rum also, but it's got that little bit of menthol kick in there. So that's what you're going to, that's what you're going to get. And that, I think, is a really nice combination. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it, when you open the package, when you get this package, if you order this, when you get the package, when you open it, the scent is really going to, it's going to hit you. It really does hit you. It, it'll just fill the room that you're in. It really is very, very nice. And uh, as I say, bay rum is really nice in there. And the menthol has a nice cooling kick, poche, but it doesn't, doesn't hit you over the head. It's not as strong as a Parasso Green or some other menthol shaving soaps or creams that you may have tried. It's, it's, it's a nice little subtle kick right there at the end, which is what, uh, which is what I really like. So yeah, this is, this is nice. This is, I'm going to definitely use this again. Really, really terrific. All right, that's it. Thanks very, very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Um, please share, please subscribe, please like. Um, hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below, let me know. Check out the Executive Shaving Company. Use the code MARK5. Check out my blog, georgetoon.com slash blog for my comics from George, other cartoons, other videos like this. Check out my Amazon product page at amazon.com slash shop slash marks where you'll find all the products I review on this channel, organized and categorized. You can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.